In this video, we're going to be learning about the differences between the layout groups in Unity. First of all, you have three. You have the grid layout group, the vertical layout group, and the horizontal layout group. Each one of these are UI elements. Now for this example, we're using a game that we've been working on for a competition that we have with Game Dev Simplified. As it turns out, I really need to practice more with 2D games because this is not nearly as far along as it should be, and I kind of gave up on making a platformer controller. It is going to have a canvas though, so that's how it's going to connect to this video. So the first thing that we're going to do is create a new UI image, which is kind of hard to see given that we're making a 2D game. So let's go ahead and look at this through the scene view. Now in order to use the layout groups, you don't actually need to create a new UI object. You can actually just create an empty as long as it's under the canvas, which will automatically give it a ret transform as opposed to the standard transform. We'll go ahead and name ours organizer. We're going to want this to be a bit bigger. In order to do that, we're going to click on this little box thing right here, click alt and at the same time, click this bottom right hand corner. Now the first component that we're going to focus on is the grid layout. So we'll go ahead and add that in now. And then we'll take our image object and drag and drop it under our organizer in the hierarchy. Now you will no longer be able to change the size of the image by itself, but you can change its size via the grid layout group cell size. Now let's go ahead and look at the main function of the grid layout group by duplicating our image a ton of times. Now if we change the spacing to 20 for both X and Y, you can now distinctly see each of the image objects. And now it's beginning to look more like an inventory system for some classic games. Now we're going to resize it a little bit so we can take a look at our start corner and start axis. You'll see that as we adjust them that it changes where it starts and ends. You can mess with this on your own to get the look that you're looking for. Now the child alignment is what I consider to be more important as by default it starts in the upper left when most of the time you want it in the middle center. And we'll resize that and center it so it looks a little better. Changing the size of these, I want to change something else, which is changing the constraint type. So if we change it to a fixed column count, then regardless of the child objects, there will only be that many columns. Same thing with a fixed row count. And that's essentially all you need to know about the grid layout group. And the next one that we're going to take a look at is going to be the vertical layout group. Now, if we create a new image child object, which we probably shouldn't have deleted all of them in the first place, and go back into our organizer and select control width and height, you'll see that it stretches out to fit the entirety of our organizer. And we can see this in action if we increase our spacing to something like 15 and duplicate our image object. Now, so long as width is selected, even if we change the size of this, it'll stretch with it. And if we unselect width, it'll no longer stretch out the size. And for now, that's pretty much all we need to know about the vertical layout group. Let's move on to the horizontal layout group. As you can probably imagine, this is literally the same exact thing, except horizontally. Last thing I wanna talk about is combining the two. Let's start it out with making a Netflix looking thing. And then we're gonna change the size of our organizer to make it look a little more like what we're going for. And then we're gonna create a new empty game object under our organizer, and we're just gonna call it movie. And then we'll give it an image child object and change its width and height to make it look more like a film. Next, we're gonna create a text mesh pro text, which if you haven't installed text mesh pro yet, this little pop-up will show up and then you can just install it and then things should work normally. Once we have our text object, I'm just gonna name it movie name and then make another text object with a different color and just name it directed by so-and-so. Now I could just hope for the best and reorganize it every time I move it around or I can make this object its own vertical group. Set it up to be lower center and then we now have a vertical layout group within a horizontal layout group. Change it around a little bit, and if we look at it in the game view, it looks good. Now let's go do the same thing, making a horizontal layout group and a vertical layout group. This time we'll make it look something like Facebook Messenger. To do that, I'm going to make a new game object with a different size, add in another image object, and I'm just going to use a picture from a dialogue system for Unity. Turn this game object into a horizontal layout group, throw in another image object as the background, and then I'm going to add in some more text mesh pro elements for the name and text message. You can go ahead and mess with some of the settings on Text Mesh Pro, but once you got it to where you like, you'll see that if we duplicate the object, it now stacks in a nice vertical list. If you're wondering what the difference was between the vertical, horizontal, and grid layout groups, there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing, and we'll see you next time. Also, a huge Black Friday sale if you want to go check it out. Use our affiliate link below.